Welcome to another edition of the Hallelujah Gardening Guide. Fall is approaching more rapidly with each passing day and it's time to plant some seeds for our fall garden. And I'm going to turn this over to Willie and she's going to share with us how she does it here at Hallelujah Acres. Right, we've been doing a number of videos now in the garden so I think most of our viewers have seen that most of our beds are full of plants and there's no place to put uh, our fall crops. So the best thing to do is to start some transplants. And so what I've got here today is some cabbage seeds and I've got a tray set up with a commercial potting mix which is basically just perlite and peat moss. It doesn't actually have any soil in it. And it's a sterile mix so that we won't have problems with um, the seedlings uh, developing a rot and, and you know just dying off at a very early age. So I like to put my seeds into a bowl or something like that just so it's easier for me to hang on to them. And I just put a few seeds, you know, just one or two. If it's fresh seed, you probably don't need as many. Um, I go across and um, plant some in each well of these trays. And once I've got the whole thing done, I can go back and I can just tamp them in just lightly, just um, the soil being dry, they'll just kind of fall down in. I only want them to be lightly covered. And once I've gotten that done, I can even shake them a little bit to get them covered. I've actually already planted that side. And so um, we have a couple of things that we want to make sure we do. We want to put a tag on that has the name of our seeds, the date that we planted them. That way we can keep up with whether they're germinating well and how long it takes them to reach maturity so that we can transplant them into the garden as soon as the weather becomes more amiable for the particular plant and we have to have space open up because we've uh, had a crop finish. What should be the time period from the time we plant the seed until the seedling is large enough to be able to transplant? Well, with the case of something like the cabbage plants and most of the fall crops, the broccoli, um, cauliflower, um, those types of plants, they all um, can stay in these little pots here for probably um, six weeks is a good average, uh, anywhere between four to eight weeks. And at that point, you, the plants are probably going to be getting too large and we're going to want to take them and get them into a place where they have more room for their roots to expand. And if you don't have a place in the garden, the best thing to do is to take each of those individual plants out. Um, and you want to do, do want to thin them down to one single plant after they've germinated. But take those plants and put them into a larger pot, give them a fertilizer supplement, a nice organic mix, because this, there's no fertilizer in here. They're relying purely on the nutrients that are contained within the seed. And so we'll take those and transplant them into a larger container and hold them a little bit longer if necessary until there's space in the garden. So once I've got these seeds planted and they're lightly covered with soil, I'll take my garden hose and I'll just water them in lightly. And it'll take a, just a little bit for that water to soak in. But you'll notice I also have this tray of plants sitting into a solid tray and don't let me hit you with water here but I'm gonna just put some water in here and I can actually bottom water these which is really the best way um, initially I always like to uh, water a little bit from the top just because I have the fresh seeds planted I'll let that soak in and make sure that soil gets good and dry um, excuse me good and moist <laughs> and then um, we can take and in order to keep the humidity up, of course we won't want this out in the blazing sun, we'll need to keep it in a place where it's got some uh, relatively uh, shaded environment, even under a tree, but outside where it's getting bright light but it's still got filtered uh, shade. Um, and I can take this and I can set it with the cover, it'll keep the humidity up until those seeds start to germinate and then we'll take this cover off. And we'll try from then on to do bottom watering so we don't spread diseases in the plants. Now, um, uh, until the seed germinates, it really doesn't need any sunlight, does it? No, it, th that's true for most seeds, but there are some, such as lettuce, that likes to have light for germination. Oh, okay. And lettuce does do well in the fall it, because it's a cold tolerant plant. The seeds will germinate in cool soil and the plants will grow in cold weather. So um, you can extend your season by planting those crops later 
um, at the end of summer and letting them go into the fall until we start getting frost. Um, but you do have to know a little bit about which particular plants you're interested in putting in the ground to know the proper depth for the seed. And that's usually found on the seed packet. Very good. Thank you once again for joining us for another episode of the Hallelujah Gardening Guide. And it's Willie and George saying God bless you and happy gardening.